Yesterday I went to a new thrift store and it's about an hour and 15 minutes from my house. I stumbled across it. It's actually kind of off the main road. I, I don't even really know how I saw the sign for it, but uh, it was an interesting experience and I thought I'd take you along. Also, the second part of this video will be a collective thrift and bins haul. So we'll come back here and I'll share some of my recent finds with you. So let's jump back to yesterday when I was at the thrift. Okay, so this is a Hope of the Valley, which they have multiple of these stores in LA and I've gone to them many times, uh, but this is located an hour and a half north in a city called Bakersfield. Uh, and I was just in the area, noticed that there was this new thrift store and decided to pop in. I think it opened a few months ago and I did have someone reach out to me to tell me it was opening, but that they hadn't fully stocked it. But as I'm walking around, definitely well stocked. You can see all the clothing in the middle. It's actually a pretty large store and uh, it's not far from a couple Goodwills. So it's just in general, a good location to thrift. Uh, I spotted almost immediately these Balenciaga sweatpants. Uh, I could just tell by how they were made. It, they were probably fake. I couldn't find any other tags. So I passed on those for sure. Here's a couple anthropology items. Here's a little moth, little cardigan, sleeveless cardigan and uh, nothing too exciting. I like the cable knit, but it's pretty basic. And then here's a little by Anthropology lightweight sweater. Again, I like this one, but definitely not worth the price point. Interestingly enough, there is no Anthropology in Bakersfield. So I don't know if these are coming from LA or if the people, the donations are just people who are shopping in LA. Uh, so this is another Anthropology item. This one is marked up quite a bit to $12.99. I probably wouldn't even pick that up at the bins, to be honest. I haven't had much luck with the Hee Hee brand or Hey Hey. I don't know. It's cute, but I don't think it's worth that price as a reseller. Here's a J. Crew collection uh, cashmere item. It's it's a cute classic vest. I do like J. Crew collection. I can tell its quality. However, I have almost zero luck selling it. Uh, I have those items sit. I have them just not really getting too much money compared to like what they you know were sold for new in the store so i just kind of don't even pick that up anymore um unless it's for myself here's a, a, a james purse jacket and uh this had some flaws it had some i mean it looked like it needed a wash but it also had a small hole that i saw when i was buttoning it um so definitely not worth it but i do love this brand and again i don't know where they would sell that brand in in this city but High-end items. I always love checking out their, you know, kind of boutique racks at all thrift stores. It's always entertaining for me. Um, I have sold this brand, but I wouldn't consider it high-end. I think it's a men's brand, Killen. Here's a Lululemon. They have it priced at $24.99. And I will show you how pilled, significantly pilled this is. It is an adorable poncho. And if it were in good condition, I think that's a great price. But in that condition, no. Here's a Nike. You know, I don't knock thrift stores for what they consider high-end, but obviously Nike 9 West that I'm showing right here, I wouldn't even be able to resell that for probably those prices. This is and other stories, which I don't, that's, you know, bread and butter for me, but they recognized it, which is impressive. Here's a Tommy Bahama. It's like a, I don't know, a zip up sleeveless <laughs> jacket for men, um, priced, you know, way too high for me. A, a kind of a used, not great North Face sweatshirt. And then this Nike sweatshirt. Uh, here's a boutique LA brand that is not very expensive. Now it is cute. It is new with tags, but I wouldn't probably be able to get more, much more than what they're asking at $20. This technically is a South Korean designer, but I've never sold it personally. Uh, I wouldn't pick it up, uh, because the comps are definitely mixed and not too high. Here's a new with tags target item that they have it priced at $15. Again, it's a cute item, but I definitely wouldn't put it on the high end rack <laughs> uh, or the markup rack. Here's a apartment nine again, marked at $15. Yes, it's new with tags, but I, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't take it for free to resell personally, um, just because I wouldn't have much luck selling it. Michael Kors, I feel like it's very common for, brand, for thrift stores to consider that high end and some Michael Kors is high end, so I don't knock them for that. Your standard free people that's marked up. Again, most thrift stores recognize those little metal tags. So here's a vintage unbranded. I couldn't find any tag. Also not the most exciting piece, <laughs> but they had that marked up interestingly enough, which fascinates me. And then here's some grandma core. Is that still a thing? But the two piece set of this is $14.99 and I just, I wouldn't, that's not for me. 
Here's a Burberry skirt that is marked at $100.99. I'm not sure why they didn't just have it like $99.99 or $100 even, but either way, uh, it d did look real. All the tags looked like it lined up, but obviously I'm not paying $100 for that. And here's a brand that I've never seen before. They had it marked at 50. It's Mark and Lona. When I looked it up, it was a golf brand. So these are a few items that I did grab. Here's a little sweater dress from Madewell. Um, it is nothing too great. It's also not right for the season, but I do like sweater dresses. I think that's gonna look adorable on the mannequin and it's a great basic. I personally love this style during fall and winter, um, you know, with a pair of knee high boots or even just, yeah, so. I decided to grab that. All right, this is a, an adorable little J. Jill cardigan. Now, J. Jill is bread and butter. I don't typically pay for it in regular thrift store prices. I'll grab it at the bins, but it was new with tags. It has this adorable like tree, palm tree design. I just think this is perfect for a cruise or just any time in summer in California, Florida, wherever. Uh, so it's not my style, but I think it's pretty cute. I had to move because some people were coming and I didn't want to film kids in the background. But here is a Dolan jacket. I love these little utility jackets. And this had some adorable embroidery all over or in multiple spots around the shoulders and the wrists. So Dolan isn't my favorite anthropology brand, but I thought that was pretty cute and not a bad price. Here's another anthropology item that's kind of unusual. It's a one size fits most. I didn't recognize the tag, but obviously $4.99 is not terrible price and I uh, wanna give it a shot, so we'll see. But I grabbed all four of these. So I don't think I'm probably gonna go out of my way to come back to this thrift store, but I'm glad I checked it out. Now time to head home. Just a quick pause for the sponsor of today's video, which is Factor. I'm starving, so before I get to the thrift haul, I need to eat some lunch. And today I am choosing the shredded chicken taco bowl. I've had this one before, it's one of my favorites. And while I'm getting this ready in the microwave, I'm gonna tell you a little bit more about Factor. Warmer and sunnier days are here, which means I wanna be outside more and inside cooking less frequently. <laughs> so having quick, no prep, no mess meals is an awesome thing this time of year. These meals make it easy for me to also hit all my wellness goals thanks to a menu of chef crafted meals with options like Calorie Smart, Protein Plus, and Keto. I love getting these meals sent right to my door so I can put them in my fridge for when I need them throughout the week. This is me opening my box a few days ago and seeing what meals that I get to enjoy this week. And I am hoping to do a lot of reselling uh, this week specifically because I've been just so busy with other things. So these will be very needed to give me the energy to organize my inventory and take lots of photos to get my listings up. Factors fresh, never frozen meals are dietitian approved and ready to eat in just two minutes, which is perfect for my busy days like today. When you are ready to try Factor, head to factor75.com or click the link below and use common tags 50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and 20% off your next month of orders. That's code common tags 50 at factor75.com to get 50% off your first box plus 20% off your next month of orders. I can confirm that I still love this meal, so I can definitely recommend the shredded chicken taco bowl if you get a chance to try it. I'm gonna finish up my lunch and then we're gonna get to the thrift haul, but big thank you to Factor for sponsoring today's video. Okay, I have the second part of this video is gonna be a thrift slash bins haul. Uh, I popped into a number of places and it's not really big enough for one place, so this is just a combination thrift slash bins haul. I'm gonna start with my favorite item that I found recently because it's one of my favorite brands to find. This technically fits me and I was really tempted to keep it, but we had a couple colder days, uh, so some late snow this season, and I, um, the last couple days that were cold enough for me to wear it, I put it on and I just, I knew it wasn't gonna be my go-to, but just the way it fit me. But it's Jenny Kane, which is, I just love her stuff. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm trying not to hit the mic. It's, you know, just classic stuff. They have a lot of fan favorites as far as sweaters and other things, shoes, um, and it's not cheap. <laughs> so I have this listed. I did just drop this bag on the floor, so I need to lint roll this, but it is a black cardigan. There is no material tag um, that's, uh, that's um, is that a hole? No, that's the tag. There's a material tag, but it's not, there's no writing on it left. 
so I don't have a size and I don't have the material content, but I did compare it to other listings. There's a cashmere version of this cardigan and then there's a, I think it was a, a wool blend uh, version of this cardigan. And I determined that this is not the cashmere based off of all the close up photos um, of just how this looked. And so anyways, uh, but still the comps were pretty good. I'm expecting somewhere around 150 for that, which is phenomenal. So, all right, this, I think this bag is, mo uh, I don't, this is mostly stuff I still need to photograph that I'm working on this week. This is a pair of smart wool leggings, um, sorry, base layer pants, leggings. Uh, I know this is a winter item. I know we're leaving winter. I see the sun shining. I still like picking up winter stuff year round. So this is smart wool, size medium. This is merino wool, I believe. Yeah, 100% merino wool. And these are a great basic. So I am not, I'm not expecting them to sell quickly because again, that's kind of a winter item, but I still like picking up smart wool. I think the con, I, some of the stuff that I haven't listed yet, I haven't looked up precisely, but I think I've sold some smart wool base layer pants like that before. And I want to say it was between 30 and 40 approximately of what I got. So I will relook up comps just to make sure. All right, here's a little Sundance jacket. I got this at the bins and it's wrinkled because it's been <laughs> at the bottom of a bins bag. The only thing that I didn't realize when I picked it up is that it looks like maybe there was a belt that came with it. I'm still going to list it. Uh, it's just two belt lips, uh, lips, belt loops on the back. So I don't think it's very obvious. Someone could add their own belt if they want, or if it were me, I would probably not wear it belted. Just, I'm not a, I'm not a belted person generally. So, uh, I like Sundance. I like some of their items. That's kind of more of a basic style, but I like that color and it's a good layering piece. So I grabbed it. All right. This was a brand that was new to me and I, it, it was risky because I was finding very mixed things. According to like the quick search, it looked like this was expensive. It looked like uh, this is possibly, um, I think it was that this sold well for men, but the women's comps were not as great, I think. Anyways, this is a size 27. Uh, this is, the style is called the standard jeans. It's made in Italy, which is what made me look it up. Let me show the tag. So it's A-S-K-E-T. I picked this up a while ago and I haven't re-looked it up, but I know that when I did, it was definitely not a guarantee, but some of the comps were great, like 100 plus. I just couldn't quite figure out the rhyme or reason. Was it a specific style? So I'm gonna have to do a little more research on this, but sometimes, you know, if it's at the bins, I will take a chance on something like this and do research later because I just don't have the time or the energy to do it at the bins. I don't recommend that for everyone, but I, I, I'm confident I will be able to sell it. I just don't know if it's gonna be in the 30 to 40 range or if it's gonna be in the 100 range, so. All right, this is a pair of shorts that I don't typically pick up a lot of REI um, branded, their brand stuff. I love REI. I shop there when I need to buy new anything if I can't find it on the resale market or when I want to go try stuff on before I buy a stuff, uh, REI is a go-to, but you know, that probably isn't shocking. Uh, I wouldn't wear these shorts personally. It's not really my style, but they are a women's size XL. We are going in short season. They kind of remind me a little bit of the baggies by, um, Patagonia as far as just kind of the, the look, not the belt part, but Anyway, so I decided to grab them just because it's a great size. It's seasonal. It was at the bins. Yeah. If I had to guess, that's going to be in the 20 to 30 range. Um, hopefully closer to 30. All right. This is a brand that I've seen before on Instagram ads or something. And it is Carve Designs. I think I get hit with their ads, so I must be their demographic. But it's a size 12. These are just corduroy shorts. Again, if I'm finding shorts that interest me, I'll pick them up, but I don't, especially in thrift stores, I don't typically go to the shorts aisle unless it's just the most amazing, mind-blowing store experience, and then I'll go, go in most aisles. But if I find stuff like this at the bins, I will pick it up, um, especially because it's usually lighter. I, I, I want to say the carved designs for something like that were in the 20 to 30 price point, and it's a good size, so I grabbed them. All right, this is a jacket that I kind of picked up for style. 
and I know, <laughs> I know it's winter. I mean, it's a winter item going into summer. Uh, this is kind of a mid-length velvet jacket. I just thought this was so fun. It kind of reminds me of, was it the Beatles? One of them had some jacket like this. I'm sorry to any Beatles, super Beatles fans. I, you know, just that famous photograph, one of the many famous photographs of them, someone was wearing a jacket kind of like this. Anyways, uh, I just think this is a classic style. It's really well made. It's Newport News, which I don't typically grab their stuff, but it feels like quality. The size is size 10 and uh, yeah, it might sit for a while because, you know, seasons, but I still think it's a really fun item and I was, you know, happy to pick it up. All right, I picked up Peruvian Connection, which I've learned by picking it up multiple times that unless it's alpaca, it doesn't, it doesn't get much money for me and do, doesn't tend to sell quickly for me. It doesn't mean I won't pick it up, but I knew picking this up that it would not be some high dollar, you know, Peruvian Connection piece. This is just a little cardigan, kind of a cropped cardigan. I believe this is cotton or cotton blend. Yeah, 100% Pima cotton. So uh, I just thought this was a little great spring, summer layering piece. So I grabbed it and probably with that, it's gonna be in the 25, probably in the 25 range. All right, this, I actually have a couple bags, which I rarely pick up bags. This is shoes, I have a couple bags. Anyways, this was from the bins and uh, style-wise, it's not for me, but I looked up the tag inside and it said Maine USA, and it said Beverly Hills. Not that that means anything, but Danny K. Beverly Hills, Maine, USA. And style-wise, it just, it feels like it's well-made, you know, like it's sturdy. It's got the YKK zipper. Anyways, I decided to look it up. Uh, and some of these do pretty well. I'm gonna have to do a little more research on the styles of, you know, like this is obviously can be worn more as a shoulder bag or probably can be extended to more of like a crossbody, which is great versatility. Um, but I, I believe a lot of his stuff had a lot of prints and stuff like that. So I will try to find more information about this specific one, but the comps for quite a few of them were like 40 to 60. So I thought that would, was a decent pickup. All right. I grabbed these for me. I still might keep them. I wear, I, I have on cloud on my feet right now. Uh, I wear on cloud shoes or on shoes technically is what they're, but uh, on shoes, which is this brand that many of us call on cloud. Uh, I wear these all the time. I have uh, two pairs that I wear religiously, um, you know, working from home. And unless I'm with real estate clients, I don't typically get dressed up during my days. So these are in almost perfect condition, maybe worn once. I can't see really any signs of wear. They're nine and a half and I tend to go up a half size or full size with workout shoes. Um, I do have a pair of maroon and they're pretty banged up. They have couple small holes. Um, they're pretty dirty. I wear them a lot. Now mine don't have this yellow and that's why I haven't put them in my closet yet because I am not a colorful person. I think it would be fun that I should just, you know, branch out, get a little colorful this, this summer, uh, have that pop of yellow. I think it would be fun, but I haven't bit the bullet yet. So they're either going to be listed or they're going to be in my closet. One or the other, I'm going to make a decision before this video goes up. <laughs> so all right, I hope I'm not hitting the mic too much. I just, this shirt doesn't really allow me many places to hang it because it will fall if it's whatever. All right, this is another one that I tried on accidentally. And this is like a perfect legging with a pair of knee-high boots, like riding boots, very classy, but simple outfit. Soft surrounding, size large. It just, it's long enough that it, it covers the bum. And with leggings, that's kind of nice. It's just, it's, I love this color. Uh, you know, for spring, cooler spring, fall day, I think this is like just a perfect piece. So I might keep this. Usually if there's any evidence of tags or, you know, like this isn't new with tags, but clearly I'm guessing someone didn't wear it like that, I would sell it. I won't keep things for myself, but this just fits so great, so comfortable. I like the style. We'll see. All right, another pair of shoes. This, this, I just started with the bag that I don't have listed. So I feel if I were to list the soft surroundings top, I'd probably get 25. And I guess that's maybe why I'm thinking I should just keep it because it's good quality. It's a style I know I'm going to wear. Yeah. So, all right. This is a pair of Madewell. Uh, they do have the style number on here, but the upper is real fur 
and it's the MWL line. But they're just a pair of little lace-up sneakers. Uh, they have been worn, I'm guessing, a couple times, just based off of the bottom, but definitely very light sense of wear. I mean, none up here, which is where it matters. They definitely give that, like, are they copying Vans a little bit with that stripe, that little effect? Anyways, they're cute. That's the moral of the story. A couple light signs. I think I can get that off uh, myself, but I thought they were pretty cute. These are a size, okay, this is a size women's nine men's seven and a half. So apparently it, they're considering it unisex. It's from spring of 20, uh, 2021. So a couple years old, but I thought they were pretty cute. All right, moving on to this bag of shoes. These are all from the bins, different times. And I just kind of collect shoes and then sit down and photograph them all at the same time. I did sell one pair of Dansko sandals and those already got shipped out for, and that was from this bag. Uh, they were green sandals, Dansko. I'm, I don't really pick up the clogs anymore. Um, and I tend to find those a lot, but these were pretty cute. They were almost in new condition. I believe very light signs of wear. And I think they sold, I put on the screen what they sold for. I want to say it was 35 or somewhere around there. So I thought those were pretty cute and a good pickup, especially from the bins. Here is a pair of sandals. These are Ms. Moos, Ms. Moos, New York city. Absolutely adorable as far as style. I love the little accent here. These are size 38, so seven and a half to US eight is my guess on sizing. Um, and there's two of them, but everything's mixed up in here. All right, these, I found quite a, I found a bin with quite a few wedges. Uh, so, but they're not the same sizes. So I don't, I don't know, but this is a 39 and a half. This is a new brand to me. It's Theory Rabotin, if you can see right there. Comps are uh, fairly mixed, but I was confident with this exact style when I did a Google Lens search that this style, many of them were in the 50 to 60 range as far as comps. So we'll see, but I like picking up new brands. These ones, this is 39 and a half, so nine, nine, US 99 and a half. All right, this is Aquatalia and it has a TJ Maxx sticker on there. And so I didn't realize they sold Aquatalia at uh, TJ Maxx, but it's a little hard to show on the inside. So here's the A, here's the spelling Aquatalia. <laughs> these are nine and a half too. So maybe these are the same person because these are all like nine, whatever. Anyways, uh, well, no, the other, whatever. All right, anyways, Aquatalia, expensive brand. Obviously it's discounted if it's a TJ Maxx. There's just this like remnants of a TJ Maxx sticker. I'll see if I can get that off, but it looks in there like someone wore it multiple times with the sticker in there without taking it off. So, uh, and I think was it, I think it's just on the one. So it's a good style. Again, more of a fall winter item. That's okay. All right, here is a really adorable pair of boots. I wanna say this was Lucky or Ugg. Uh, they're Ugg, absolutely adorable, really great shape, maybe worn a couple times. I looked up this style. It's got, you know, kind of a cool motorcycle vibe to it. Uh, they're my size. And I'm like, well, it's not like I'm riding many motor motorcycles, but I do date someone that likes motorcycles. So maybe the day will come that I will need to have those outfits. Should you really buy stuff for a future non-existent event or I should sell them. I think, I think they're listed. <laughs> Uh, but the great thing was, is I was able to find the exact style. I love this little accent right here and side zipper over here. They're kind of suede leather. I like the low heel, just comfortable. So, uh, really great. If they sell before I ever need, have a use to wear them, then I will sell them. If they don't and sit for a long time, then maybe I'll get a few wears out of them. Who knows? All right. These, uh, these are Michael Kors. And while I typically don't pick up a lot of Michael Kors and I see it all the time, there are different things about that brand that I have exceptions. A pair of classic riding boots that are in good condition, I just felt like they were definitely worth picking up. Also, they're not very heavy. They seem like a comfortable, a comfortable riding boot. But these were a size US 8. They are a leather upper, um, just the classic you know, riding style pops out a little bit higher on the front. It does have the little MK right here and then the inside zipper. So the comps for these were actually pretty decent. I want to say the comps were, you know, around 50 to 60 for these, which I think is great for Michael Kors. 
Uh, and I know there's a lot of Michael Kors fans out there. I just have never had much luck with it selling on the resale market, unless it's Michael Kors collection. Even then, that usually is a slow seller for me. So, and the last pair of shoes, I think, I don't think there's any more in that last bag, uh, is a mistake. I bought these. They are little mules. They are made well. And I thought, oh, perfect. They looked a little small. I think they're, yeah, it's a little small. They're five and a half, so they're very small. But I thought, oh, these are classic um, made well shoe. They're in good condition. They've been worn, you know, a handful of times, but nothing major. It wasn't until I went to photograph them that I saw the leather, this leather part on the bottom. You can really see it over here. It's like lifting up inside. So my plan is, is it's going to go into my project pile, my project pile that I almost never get to of maybe I can, you know, basically this part, maybe I could glue it. Even then, I don't think it would be comfortable because if I had to walk on something like that, I don't know. So it's just going to go into that pile uh, probably that's just going to eventually get donated because I won't have the patience or I won't be successful. Yes, I could take it to a cobbler or someone like that. That would cost a lot of money. These shoes aren't worth it. If these shoes could sell for over 100 maybe it would be worth it. But in this situation, these probably only sell for 25 30 because they're pretty tiny. Uh, so I think this was a miss, but we make mistakes and... Any reseller who says they don't, I don't believe them because we are human. All right, last bag. All right, here's another bag that honestly, it's so tough. It's I'm so not a bag person, but at the same time, if I do wear a bag, I want it to be simple. I want it to be functional. Uh, this has the ability to wear it as crossbody. You can also take that off and just have it as more of a standard bag like this. Really like the style. It feels great. It feels like quality the leather, as far as the leather, uh, I really like it. And I've never heard of this, this designer, Allison Burns, Los Angeles, but it's got this cute little plaid lining. It's got an inside pocket. It just feels like quality. Now I picked this up at a re regular thrift store. It was on sale, but it was $15.99 as they marked it. And I honestly kind of picked it up for myself. Uh, see if I can maybe wear it a couple times and we'll see. I just think it feels like quality. I like the look of it, the simplicity, but still has some like subtle accents like this front pocket, which I like. So I'm going to try it out. And if I don't end up wearing it a few times in the next couple months, then I will list it. Uh, but I, I want to, I want to become a bag person, but I just always hold my wallet and my phone everywhere I go and we'll see. <laughs> Is this a thrift haul to resell or is this a thrift haul of half the stuff going in my closet? <laughs> All right, this is one that I did try on a couple times and thought, oh, maybe I could style this and wear it. It's so nice and warm. Um, it's Baldwin. Again, in some of our recent May snow, April and May snow days, I was having to dress for warmer weather. And so I had recently found these and this has this like super soft lining, like, oh, it just feels so glorious on the inside. Baldwin, Kansas City is the brand. And from what I could tell, they no longer make this brand, uh, but it was kind of a, an expensive store there and trendy. So comps are all over the place. This didn't look right for me. It was too oversized. It just didn't look, it didn't look flattering on me anyway that I tried to wear it. So I never got a chance to wear it but I am going to list this. I think it's, um, you know, it's a great style. I'll put it on the mannequin. I'll obviously provide measurements, but it's also just so nice and warm inside. Here is a masuk kind of mid length cardigan jacket. It's not really cardigan cause it's not really a sweater, but it's like a lightweight jacket. Uh, I love these buttons on the front. This is a size three X, which is why I grabbed it. Masuk is hit or miss as far as comps for me or as far as like resale for me, but usually the plus sizes, especially a cl nice classic piece like this, um, I think this will do pretty well. You know, hopefully 30 to, or sorry, 40 to 50 for that one, but I'll need to check comps before I get that one listed. All right, more sweaters. <laughs> I think this is an anthropology one, so nothing. Uh... All right, more sweaters. I think this is an anthropology kind of one size fits most. I just like the color blocking. I liked the neutral. Um, it's basically kind of like a shawl, but it also, I don't know if you can see the color blocking. It just kind of 
it's flipped on the inside. So if you have it open, it kind of has, also I'm probably hitting the mic, but I thought it was a really nice classic piece. It's a great layering piece. It's a great airplane or travel piece. Um, I know I'm not really showing much of it, but I thought it was pretty cute. And I do like one size fits most, just in that they usually are roomy and comfortable and oversized. So Saturday, Sunday, we'll see. I didn't look that one up, uh, but I'm guessing it's probably gonna be somewhere between 25 to 35, yeah. This was uh, new to me and it is a brand that has some very good comps on some items, but I will not get the high comps for this. This is Hemant and Nadita, Maine, Italy, and they have some of the most beautiful, colorful dresses. I just found a bra top, I think is what you would call this. Uh, it's not a crop top because it's just really like a bra top, but absolutely adorable. I was hoping maybe I would find like a skirt that matched or something, but with no luck. It is a size small. I'm gonna try and get this on the mannequin and see if that will work just to kind of, you know, so I'm not on a hanger like this, but if it needs to. Anyways, the, the little bra tops like this, a lot of them were in the 20 to 30 range. A lot of the dresses were 200 plus on the resale market, pre-owned. So definitely a brand I wanna keep an eye out for. Probably will never find it again, to be honest, but absolutely beautiful stuff when I looked it up. Here's a Free People Movement. This is a size medium. Uh, this is a really great fall piece, but I liked it because it's great for leggings. It's got a really long back, high-low, you know, front back. So it also just feels, it also just feels really nice and cozy. So I grabbed that at the bins. This one is going to require a little sweater shaving, but the Zadig and Voltaire uh, star sweater, star print sweaters do fairly well. So I don't know if it's going to pick up some of the pilling. I typically don't like bringing home projects, but it's not super bad pilling. I think with like a quick one over, I'll get it in decent shape. And then just also say there's some like pilling all over just so that there's no confusion about perfection. <laughs> all right. And lastly, this is a Madewell jacket. I did look this up. It's kind of one of those quilted jackets, which were pretty popular the last year or two, at least from what I was seeing um, on the, the fashion blogs. But this is a really cute style. I need to do a little stain treatment because when I went to go photograph this, I noticed that there is some light, kind of yellowish marks right here. Um, and I don't know what kind of stain that is, but I'm gonna try my best. It is machine washable, so I'm gonna see if I can get those out and get it in better condition. I think this is, you know, a beautiful color. It's cotton, yeah, it shouldn't be a problem, but I think it's a beautiful color. I think it was a more recent item too. Holiday 21, so it's a couple years old, but I like the color. I think it's a, a great basic, and we'll see if I can get the spots out. But that is it. Big thank you to Factor for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to check them out down below. I will be back soon with another video. Hope you're all well. Hit the thumbs up. Bye.